This is a video of my 2011 F650 crew cab, four wheel drive. Bought this thing in April 2016, but it's just too big for me. I'm gonna go back to a 3500. It is a 2011, so it's the new body style. It's got the new mirrors, all power, new body style. 107 gallon fuel tank on each side, so 214 total. I believe that's a 30,000 pound winch on the front. Amber lights, Your regular headlights. This truck was originally built by Super Trucks out of Augusta, Georgia. If you haven't seen any of their stuff, it's, it's worth a Google. It's very well done. The entire truck, including the front, does ride on full airbags. There are no leaf springs on this truck. There's a good look at the front axle. The airbag air horn this is a container for your um, death fluid it is a 6.7 liter Cummins with a 3200 series automatic push-button transmission backs are the same super singles as in the front there's the airbags again I'll um I'm going to put a hat on here, just so you have something to reference how big this thing really is. Those are the tires. The bed is actually very cool. Um, you see that, you can see that split there that runs down the body of the truck. This entire section actually comes off. And there is a fifth wheel flatbed inside the truck. So all that comes off, I believe it's six bolts. Uh, that's a fresh water storage tank in the front. Toolbox. And again, there's your fifth wheel. And um, you can see the flatbed is just stainless steel. Got a uh, rear view camera right here. Regular um, two inch receiver. Uh, you can also put a larger one in there, it does have a sleeve. Exhaust. Like I said, this thing is out of Canada, so there is a little bit of surface rust on it, but there's nothing coming off. And the frame's in good shape. Huge stainless steel rear bumper. Super truck logo again. On your other side, instead of the def fluid, you have your battery compartment. And there's a jump start on it. These wheels are brand new. They have less than 100 miles on them. They are Yokohama 445-65 on 22 and a half inch radial rims. Of course they're, they're floaters, super singles. I'll show you the inside of the truck now. The rear is pretty big. Oh yeah, the amp research steps come out. LED lights on it. Rear is the same size as a regular F350. Very nice seats, and uh, these do fold up. And uh, well, I can't fold up from this side of the boxes on it, but you've got big flat place there. And the front is also leather. 
as those have heated seats manual lumbar electric forward back and uh, manual tilt the keys are um, of course it's got your lock unlock these two buttons are irrelevant this one is a remote start there's your push button Allison transmission your air gauges uh, like I said this is the new interior so you've got the big super duty all new plastic got your plug in there for your aux all factory up at the top you have try to make this easier to see this is your hour meter it says 2964 uh, this is your exhaust brake and this is your uh, transmission temperature up here even further up you have your four-wheel drive selection uh, here is your front axle oh, I'm trying to show you yeah here's your transfer case so you go ahead and uh, you have to engage your front axle it's in high four-wheel drive now you put it in low this is a good off-road traction button and uh, here's your dump bed so you just kind of press this here you press this button up and the back of the truck actually will lower eight inches see your air conditioning your auxiliary cords this is ports these this is uh, how you run your amber lights and then you have three extras that come from the factory go ahead and start this thing up See the ABS is on because I pressed that off-road traction button. And there is a um, check engine light off. I just replaced the uh, rear drive shaft. So I'll have to go back and get that to turn off. But it was only there after I replaced the rear drive shaft. 88,269 miles. You got your oil temperature, your engine temperature, gas and your um, death fluid. So you know how much is in there. Here's a air horn and a regular horn here. Lights. Let's see, all the windows work. They roll down just like they should. And the mirrors track automatically when you press this little button here. Let the mirrors come in and uh, do it again come back out like I said this is all factory stuff here uh, and then you do have your extendable tow mirrors push button ready to go to drive the vehicle uh, it's actually pretty simple if you've never driven one you just press which gear you want to be in reverse for example and then this takes it out of park this is your air brake this is drive uh, there is another mode um, that will only allow it to go to whichever gear you want it to so right now it's available in six gears but you can actually limit it so it only goes up to five gears four gears so on it's in first gear now to put it in park you just put it back in neutral pull your air brake out it's got plenty of charging ports in here it does have a six I don't know if you can see that there are regular outlets bolted in there's six of them so you can plug anything you want in there's another one so that's the truck if there are any other questions that you might have that the video didn't answer for you or that the pictures don't answer for you Feel free to shoot me a text, give me a call, or an email. There's the steps that come back out automatically. Uh, this other F650 that I have in front of me, I'll do a quick brief on it.
just so you can see the difference between the two-wheel drive trucks and the four-wheel drive trucks. And it is a very sub substantial difference. The two-wheel drive one is also for sale, if you see the ad. Well, like I said, call me, text me, email me with any questions you might have, and um, I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.